Today we'll be talking about criminal justice reform, implications for services for mental and substance use disorders. We know from years and years of trying to lock people away and, and solve the problem that that doesn't work. Uh, so there has to be a different approach to uh, someone who has a substance use disorder. People are at very high risk at the point where they re-enter the community. Their tolerance for their um, drugs of choice is lower. We know that, um, that it's a time of risk for overdose. Um, so we need to get them linked up very quickly to services. The existence of untreated behavioral health conditions and uh, addictions uh, often lead to recurrence of the criminal activity that was involved and um, in two individuals not doing well. Uh, and so treatment early is very important. People have a lot that they have to work through to become job ready. And so we need to make sure that people are ready to be employed so that they can stay employed and they need to receive support services in order to do that. I want everyone to know, individually, family, as well as community, there's help available. If you seek it and ask it and look for it in the way that you know that you need to make those changes. A lot of people out there don't have any hope. So sometimes they need to borrow some hope. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what we need people in the community to do, to be hope lenders to get these people back on their feet and show them that uh, you know recovery is possible and everything's going to be all right. Together we can do that for sure. I don't even know if these programs didn't exist or wasn't available to me, like I, I wouldn't be standing where I'm at today. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm.